Nyanyu. Let's give him a round of applause. Please. Thank you very much, and you are all welcome to Ghana, and uh, we are happy to have you here. Uh, my name once again is Timothy Nyanu. Nyanu means uh, wise, um, so that is if you don't know. So I'll basically talk about um, the Ghana Investment Promotion Act at 865. I'll be brief. Um, then when question comes up, we would um, answer those questions. But um, on the whole, um, what the new government is trying to do is to make um, Ghana a very business and investment friendly. Um, also, it's reviewing its taxes to make it more conducive for businesses and uh, individuals as well. And simplifying requirements for easy um, process to go through processes of registration and whatever you are going to do. Um, the government is trying to make um, those processes very easy for you. As I speak, you can be in the state and incorporate your company in Ghana, which is um, um, something that the government has done just recently. And also, we are also looking at uh, being the state and registering your investment in Ghana. So that, that will be the next step that will be taken into. So Ghana Investment Promotion Center is the agency of the government or machinery of government to promote investment, both local and foreign, into the country. And it's also our mandate to make sure that um, the right environment is created for businesses. So we work in collaboration with uh, uh, almost all business um, associations and government agencies who deal directly with businesses. The Guy Investment Promotion um, Act was enacted as um, 2013. And it requires that if someone is a non ghanaian If you are into joint venture with a Ghanaian, then you are bringing in 200,000 US If you are going to be wholly foreign owned, you are going to bring in 500,000 US If you are going to trade, it's a 1 million US dollars. I don't be afraid. I think that those we are looking at uh, those figures at the moment. The act is currently under review um, to. It was just past 2013 and we have implemented and we, look, we realized that there are some challenges um, with the, the thresholds that we have in terms of the fees. So um, we are currently looking at it and um, would um, undergo, it will undergo a review which will be passed maybe somewhere in 2018. We also support companies, some of the benefits when you are registered you get to um, get your permits, work permits, maybe for yourself or for somebody you want to come and oversee the uh, business for you whilst you are still in the state. Um, we support you with those applications. Um, also, if you are going to bring in a plant or machinery for your core business, um, the center is able to support you so that uh, the government weighs the import duty and the import tax on it. For you. So if maybe you, are, you want to go into some processing, you can bring in the machinery. Before the machinery can just let us know, uh, you do application, then we would um, um, support your application to the Ministry of Finance to exempt you from those um, import duty and import tax. JEPS is always, uh, all, always available for anybody. If you have any issues with any um, agencies, any of the agencies, you can always walk to our office, you can always communicate to us in writing, 
and then we will take the matter up to find out what exactly the issues are and how best that particular agency will address your issue. Or we give them options as to how what to do to assist you. So before you can register your investment, you would have to incorporate your company with a registered grounds department. And that takes basically five working days. After you are done, then you you come to GIBC where you are required to show your evidence of investment. And then what you do is you open a corporate bank account, local currency, foreign currency, transfer the money into the foreign currency account, and convert to the local currency account. And instruct your bankers to confirm to Bank of Ghana. Bank of Ghana will confirm directly to us. And with that letter, you are ready to um, register your company. Yes, um, what we, we say, there are a lot of opportunities in the country. Some are very um, capital intensive, which uh, maybe I'm not so sure um, if you'll be interested. But what we advise always is that you operate from your strength. You operate from your strength. That is always the best then that makes you a unique person in the market and you are able to reach whichever uh, people. I, I'm sure Madame may, may not have so many competitors because she's operating from her strength. Yeah. So I know you have learned so many skills uh, back in the US and those skills might not be very readily available in Ghana here. So it's a way of um, using those skills here to uh, begin your business. Can either be training people, can either be offering some services that cannot be found in Ghana, maybe e-learning, maybe. But there are so many things to be done. So um, we are always ready to receive your emails and provide you with further information as to what is being, what is happening in Ghana <laughs> regarding what you are doing, and maybe if possible, we'll give an option for you to go on, or whatever it is, we'll give you our best view. As, uh, so, I'm um, doing not to send mails to the Investment Promotion Center anytime regarding what you are thinking about um, doing in Ghana, and we will be always ready to support you with those um, information that you need to get things done. Um, so, on that note, um, I would end my uh, talk, and if there are any questions, I would pick them up then. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Again, uh, you know, everything is law. You know, we want to make sure that you understand that they're here to protect your investment. You know, if someone tries to come and take something from you, the government will step in and protect you. That's what they give. They give you the guarantee. Once you register with GIPC, then you are protected. You're protected. They will even come to your rescue. Am I correct? Yeah. They will come to your rescue to protect you if anyone tries to come against you once you register and want and been through the process. Now, I've personally been through the process. At that time, it was ten thousand dollars with the Ghanaian partner a few years back. So I had the ten thousand invested with the Ghanaian partner, and uh, of course we have the protection of the government so that. Um, uh, we can move forward, and it's good that way. So let's give them a round of applause again.